Antonio Gibson going well ahead of Brian Robinson Jr. Do you think that is the proper way to draft, assuming that he's going to get more work as a receiver or whatever? One thing it really get, makes high on what Gibson and Robinson could do this year compared to the last year, I've got that good blocking rate metric. Measures how often a running back gets quality run blocking, which is important because when you get good run blocking, it's basically when you don't let the defense disrupt a rush attempt. Last year, when running backs got good run blocking, they averaged 1.2 points, fantasy points per play. When they got bad run blocking, it's 0.2. And last year, Gibson ranked 40th in good blocking rate received among 44 qualifying running backs, and Robinson was dead last. They got terrible blocking. So if they could even just get to from awful to mediocre, from 34.9 for Gibson, 29.3% for Robinson. Again, the league average is 42. They get anywhere even close to 40 to where they're getting 39, 40%. It's going to be another 10, 15, 20 carries. It, it could be a pretty significant difference. If you add that to the fact that Robinson and Gibson, neither of them scored a touchdown on a good blocking run play last year.